This video will illustrate Munich recording. I have selected a patient. I'm going to start a new visit, start the Munich program and choose the muscle. This list shows only one muscle. You can add more muscles if necessary. We'll begin by recording the compound muscle action potential. So increasing the intensity and stimulate. And here is a response at supramaximal amplitude. Uh, supramaximal stimulation. Now usually we change the position of the E1 electrode to make sure that we are recording the CMAP with maximum amplitude in the interest of time. I will accept this as the CMAP with highest amplitude. The amplitude is shown over here. Here is the area, duration and power. Power and area are used for calculating Munich. Amplitude is used for calculating mu6. I will push the next button and this will put me into the recording mode for the SIP. We are going to record a 500 millisecond EMG signal uh, for analysis. So this is EMG at slight effort, accept it. And here is the ICMUC value, SIP area, and I have my first data point. You can see the numerical data over here. So now I'm going to increase the force of contraction. And then higher force, this is going to be my third point. And as soon as I do the third point, we can calculate the regression and here is our Munich value and here is our mu6 value. A and alpha are the parameters of regression over here. Now I'm going to go to about 80% maximum effort and then maximum effort. Okay, so this completes one run of my uh, SIP recordings. I have done five epochs. I'm going to do now another trial. So this is going to be a slight effort. So starting over here, then a little bit more effort, more effort, more effort, and maximum. So this is the way we can do the Munich study. Uh, usually we record 10 SIP signals, but in this uh, program we have the ability to record 29 SIP signals. We have built in the criteria for acceptance and uh, they are shown over here that, uh, that our minimum SIP area should be more than 20 and so forth. These are the parameters that could be changed. So this is mainly for the future research. We have also something called alternate Munich formulation that we are exploring. Uh, I will not go into the details of that, but all of that uh, computation is built into our program right now. So Munich is fully integrated into the EDX software and as you can see it is quite easy to do and it takes only a few minutes to perform. Hope it helps.